watching a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a basketball detector with Python, OpenCV, and YOLO. So yeah, great project system, right? Alright guys, so um, first what we want to do is we want to install all the requirements that we need. So actually we only need one thing, and that's um, OpenCV. So uh, we need to install OpenCV Python. So um, I'm going to show you guys why we need this and um, how our project is actually going to work. So um, what's going to happen is we're going to have a model, a yellow model, and we're gonna have like a bunch of images, a bunch of images of basketballs, and we're gonna label them basketballs. You can actually use this for any object, but we're gonna use basketballs. So we're gonna label every single basketball and we're gonna name it basketball. Then we're gonna put it into our YOLO 8 um, detector and it's going to give us an output of a basketball. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna do this real time on our webcam. So we're gonna be using OpenCV to actually create our webcam and then we're going to um, check every single frame and we're going to put that into our detector. It's going to detect the basketball and we're going to get the coordinates of where that basketball is. And we're going to draw a rectangle around that basketball. So that's going to actually show us how we can detect the basketball in real time. So you can see I already have OpenCV in my, um, in my Python. So um, uh, if you want to just install pip, install OpenCV. All right. So that's it for our requirements. Let's get into the actual project. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new project, and we're going to be calling this um, uh, basketball detector or uh, something related to that. And then, and then uh, we're just going to say, what are we detecting? We're going to put a basketball. Um, also, make sure that's object detecting because we are detecting an object. And then we just want to create a public project. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to import a YouTube video. So this is just going to help us like a video that we have with basketballs. And then we're just going to, um, it's just going to get every single frame and it's just going to create an image for that. So it's just going to make this process a lot easier for getting the images. We just want to go to um, this video that I've um, made. Then we're just going to get this link. All right. Now what we want to do is we just want to paste this here and it's going to ask us uh, how many frames is each video. So we want to get about 50 images and because it's only these, this specific basketball and this specific uh, basketball court, um, we don't need as many. Um, it'll be pretty accurate. So I'm just going to make this around 50 images because remember we still have to label all of these. So if I just choose a frame rate of 3 since there's 60 seconds, it's going to give us 48 images. Now, um, it should take some time to actually label every single one of these images. If you want to know how to, just click on an image and then just draw a box around uh, that image. It's automatically going to create a basketball. Just save it and do it for every single image. Uh, I'm going to do this and speed up for you so you can see um, how it looks like. Alright, so um, I already labeled every single image, um, and I can send you the link to this. So if you don't want to uh, create your own data set, you just want to use this, you can just um, use it and train it on some of the videos that uh, I post uh, relating to basketball. So all right, so now what we want to do is we want to download all of these images and all of these labels. So um, what we want to do is if we go back here um, and then uh, we click download this data set we want to uh, click download zip to computer we're going to click continue and it's um, going to start a download to our computer with the zip now I already downloaded one so I'm not going to do the exact same thing though all right so actually um, what I can do is I can just delete all this and we could just Reset. So I was just making sure that the um, model worked. Alright. Alright, so we just have our um, uh, just basketball detector folder. And now what we want to do is we just want to click the download button again. And we're just going to download this zip to our computer. Alright. 
So when we open our zip, we're just gonna get um, this train folder, and then inside it's gonna be our images and labels. And what we can do is we can just copy this. Actually, instead of that, we're just gonna copy our train. We're gonna um, put it right here. And then inside here, we also have this data.yaml. Um, and then this has um, the, the path to our train. And then we also need to create a, a val folder. And inside here, this is gonna be like for validating it. And then we're just gonna copy, let's say the first six. Let's see the last six. I'm just gonna paste it in a new folder here called labels. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing, but only for the last six. So if we go back to images and make sure it is the last six because these are gonna be like corresponding to the labels. So uh, now we got our images and we got our labels um, in our trains and our val um, folders. So we all, we also have our data.yaml, just create one and you just want to put um, a few different things in here. So you want to put our train and you want to get the path to your train folder. You want to put a val and put the path to your val folder. This NC is how many um, different like objects you're trying to detect. And we're only going to be detecting the basketball for this um, object detection. We also have another model that can detect the rim and the basketball. But um, that's for a different type of uh, that's for a different type of video. And then we also just have our names in a list. So only our basketball. Alright. So um, now what we need to do is we actually need to download the um, the YOLO 8. So we're just gonna go to Google and we're search up YOLO 8 GitHub. Alright. And I already have it, but we can just click on this first one, scroll down, and you can see this table. So um, you can read the table, uh, see how it works. So the the bigger the size, um, it might be slower. So we're just gonna go for the medium and just download that. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to. Uh, a, a CD into our basketball detector, and then we want to run this command. So YOLO task equals detect, mode equals train, epox equals 100, data equals our data.yaml, and our model is equal to that model that we just downloaded. So if you have any issues with this, um, I can actually put this, I'll make a GitHub for this, and I'll put this uh, line, uh, on the page so that'll be in the description so um now what we're going to do is we're just going to run this uh commands and it should work so um if you run to an issue like data.yaml is not found it's because it's in this zip so you just got to move this out here and if you say if there's a error that says val uh is it found or um train is it found you just want to delete uh the test and then just uh, put the the path to the train in the valve so it's going to take some time, so I'm just going to um, speed it up for you and then come back with it. So um, my model just finished training, and it took a while to finish. So um, it took six hours to finish. You can see when I showed you the um, the the sped up version, that was only twelve percent. So it was at like twelve epochs. 
So to complete all 100, I have to um, put it overnight. So um, it says it's saved to this path. We're just going to copy it, and then we're just going to open this. Just like how we did on the last one. So once we open it, we have um, our train 31, and this is actually in another path that you might want to know for saving the, the results. Wait, I'll show you what that means. So we can actually open this one and just go just in tech. And uh, these are all the results. So you can see, um, for example, on 22, on predict, you can see these are some predictions that it's made on my last model. Um, yeah, so for example, on my last model, that wasn't good. But um, I guess we need to show it. So it detected the basketball. And it's all around so it was the basketball too. But um yeah, so I think I only had like about like twenty images on that one. So obviously these two models aren't gonna be that big because we only have a few images. But um hopefully if we run it on that video, it will give us like the output. Um but you should probably train your model with a lot more images, maybe like a hundred, it'll do well. So um just keep that in mind. But on images it's doing pretty good. Alright, so let's actually try it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go to our weights. We're gonna copy this best.pt and we're gonna put that into our um, basketball detector. All right. Um, all right, we can just replace it, whatever. Actually, no, this is our basketball detector. So we just wanna put this into our basketball detector too. Put that in there. I think we have everything we need to run this model. And one last command just to uh, actually use our model. So it's uh, pretty similar to what we use to train it, but instead of our mode being trained, it's gonna be predict. Um, in our model, we're not gonna be using our YOLO model. We're gonna be using the best top PT that it created when it was actually training. So it used all the training. Um, it ran through all the epochs and it found, um, we can think of like a value um, that or, or some different rules that help us identify what is a basketball. I talk, uh, talk more deeper about this in some other videos, but um, we found the rules that actually identify basketball. We stored in this best.pt, and now we're gonna run it on this source. So this source is just um, a basketball image, um, and uh, we're just gonna run it. All right, so if we click return, and I set the show to true, so you can see it just showed us, and you can see it actually worked. And it saved it to this path, so you want to just begin um, open this path, and um, you can see this is the output of our image. So you can see it actually detected the vessel. Um, I mean, it's not the most accurate; it's only sixty-eight percent, but it's really good. Just um, thinking that we ran this model on only a couple images, like probably uh, thirty, and um, we ran it using a different basketball. So you can see it actually got the values that we need for a basketball and we can run it on different basketball so i guess the more images that we use and the more epochs that you train with it should be um more accurate but that is uh, really good for um, our model all right guys thank you for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed please make sure to hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to the channel all the uh code is on github and if you have any questions you can put it in the comments down below anyways that's it for today's video until the next one